Okay, tonight we have a show, so it has to be super easy dinner. Link sausage, this one is turkey, and I've got some bacon grease here because butter is getting darn too inexpensive. All oil is getting darn too inexpensive. My homemade seasoned salt, the link is in the description below. Liberally salty because the world needs more salt, people. And then I'm just gonna take my potatoes. I'm feeding three to four people today. I don't know who's going to be eating today. Okay, and then put this in an oven at 425 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes, just until your potatoes are brown. Okay, it has been about 30 minutes or so. And let's see, they are pretty brown. There you go, just like that. Now, I'm gonna leave it for about 10 or 15 more minutes just to get a little bit more brown. Okay, everybody wants to eat early, so we're pulling it out, but there you go. Just add some broccoli or cauliflower, and you have a super yummy meal that didn't even take five minutes to make. Our Dining on a Dime cookbook is on sale, 50% off for Mother's Day right now. You can get tips that will help you save money on your grocery bill, recipes that your family will love to eat, Click the link in the description below to get this sale today. I've been decluttering all day and I am super tired. This is one of my really fast recipes. Spray a pan. Now you can line a pan if you want instead if you don't want if you don't want to do cleanup. Take chicken thighs and put them in your pan. Like so. I only need four for today. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of cooking spray on top to brown it. Then, I'm going to add my seasoned salt. Now, I'm gonna let this cook for, for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then, I'm gonna come in and pour my barbecue sauce all over the top of it and cook for another 10 or 15 minutes. At 375 degrees. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Now, I probably should let it go a few more minutes, but that's fine. I have a show to do. So, I'm going to put this all over the top. Let it cook for about another half an hour. And then have Jack take it out of the oven. And half of it will probably be gone. Alright, I have my pan here with about two teaspoons to a tablespoon of oil. I'm turning my oven on at 350. Okay, so you can see I paid $1.77 and I got four and a half pounds. So this will be at least two meals, if not three for us at $8 for our meat. The total meal will be less than $5 for four of us. I have my chicken thighs here. And I'm not going to trim any of the skin because I really like the skin. So I am sprinkling with my homemade seasoned salt. This recipe for the seasoned salt is on our website, livingonadime.com. The link is in the description below. Also, this recipe is adapted from my honey garlic chicken, also in the description below. The one on the website uses chicken breast, but I wanted to try it with chicken thighs to see how it would turn out. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Okay, so got seasoned salt on both sides, but I wanted to cook this side first, actually. Okay, and then and no, I get lots of questions. I do not wash my chicken before I fry it. All the germs die at 165 degrees, so I'm not going to be splatting chicken germs all over my kitchen. All right, we're going to let this brown, and then we're going to turn it over. All right, then we're going to turn it over and let it brown on the other side. All right, now before we get to the sauce, I'm gonna make my rice, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cooking spray here, 
spray my bowl or my casserole dish. I'm gonna put my rice in. Yeah, I'll just do it all. This is already pre-made. We make rice one day and eat it for two to four days, depending on how much we eat it. Then I'm gonna dump in my pepper mix there and a little soy sauce right there and a little extra garlic because Mike really likes garlic and my seasoned salt Okay, now we're going to stir all this together. And this is going to go in as our chicken is baking also. All right, oops. We're going to throw this in the oven. Now for our garlic, honey garlic mixture. Here is a little tip for honey. Spray your measuring cup with um, vegetable spray and then measure your honey in there. All right. And my soy sauce. and my garlic mike really likes a lot and extra seasoned salt just because i like to make sure things are seasoned enough and optional red peppers if you want all right now we're going to stir all that together we're going to put our chicken in the oven and chicken has about 45 minutes left to go, but I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just put the sauce over it. And then I'm gonna baste it. All right, it's been about a half an hour. I'm gonna let this cook for about another 45 minutes or so. been about 30 minutes and I basted it. Probably another 15 to 20 minutes. All right, that is looking pretty yummy. Amazingness. Holy smokes. Mm -mm -mm. That delicious. Look at this. That's even good. That's really great too. Okay, now if you want to thicken your gravy, set your chicken to the side. Whoops. Turn your um, whatever on. Okay. Now we're going to take some water and a little bit of cornstarch. Stir it in here. See if you do cold water, your cornstarch won't get um, all lumpy. And then we're gonna pour it in here and bring it to a boil. Okay, while this is coming to a boil, we are going to put our rice on a plate. All right, so we've got our rice on the plate. And then we're gonna take our chicken. That. Right. Then I'm just going to pour our 
sauce all over it. And there you go. What do you think, dear? Amazing. It looks amazing. It smells even more amazing. Amazing-er. Amazing-er.